Well, hey, welcome to Gold Fever Adventures. I'm Jack Tucker. Uh, I'm staying here at a friend's property. He's going to be taking us out this morning. Uh, it's going to rain here pretty soon. It looks like it's going to rain any time. But we're going to go out and look for some buried coins. I'll have him tell you the story. But hey, thanks for coming along and sharing on these adventures. Hey, Mike, what are we going to do today? We're going to go look for gold coins and, and bars of gold that were stolen. And uh, the, the rancher that was there, he met the outlaws and and uh, they had all, they were, lay, they were dead when he got there. So he took the gold off the horses and brought it back to his ranch and went over into the area where we're going and, and hit it over in there. And, that, and that's what we're going to go look for. Hey, cool. Well, it looks to me like it's going to start to rain here. Yep, here it comes. I can't wait until you guys go out there. Awesome, Jack. Smoke Jensen. Okay. I got a Polaroid camera here. This is one of them special cameras. They, uh, I don't know where they came from, but they came from Polaroid. But uh, these are special cameras. And what cameras. they do is they see flares where there's treasures. And supposedly there's some treasures over here that that crazy guy was telling us about. So I'm out here to look to see if we can get some flares. And if we see flares, by God, if you don't see us again, it's because, well, because we got caught by the farmer. <laughs> <laughs> so what is it, so what is it, what is it exactly we're looking for, Jack? I mean, I obviously heard a story about something what i'm not divulging anything other than supposedly there's something hidden up the, out there that's all that i know okay so we don't want that's all or i know hidden. i just heard there so we're looking for the flares from the camera what causes the flare the uh <laughs> the uh the uh, emitting ray, emitting ray. The, the stuff orbs, from the like sending up something out of the ground. Well, it's gases basically oh, okay. escaping from the ground is what it is. And the old time, the old Indians when they used to look up in the mountains and they'd see these gases coming up, they used to think they were ghosts, huh. and it scared them. But they're actually treasures, and so that's how you, they find treasures. But these type of cameras will spot that stuff, and that's what we're going to do. So I got to get busy taking some pictures now. Excuse me a minute. So they say the best time you take these with these Polaroids is right after the sun goes down as the uh, ground starts to cool when the sun goes down. I guess that makes sense, huh? And then uh, that's when it starts to release those, I guess, those gases. And that's what we see flares. So we're waiting on these film to develop and we'll see if we see any flares or not. So we'll see what happens. You know, Polaroids, they take like about, I don't know, seven or eight hours to develop. So hold on. So I guess we're going back to the home front and we'll see how these uh, films all turn out and then we'll either be back here or whatever so I guess till tomorrow we'll join you then stick around you never know well so here we are back up here on this hill day number two of this uh, looking for these uh, coins I guess it is we're taking pictures with the Polaroid and it's windy as heck up here right now too I don't know why it's so windy but it's Polaroid windy Jack. so we got old Scott taking uh, pictures right there the sun's getting ready to go down as you can see right there sun's going down everybody's just kind of hanging around just waiting for the sun to set it's setting it's going down so we think the treasure's right down right there man it's windy as hell up here. water has gone down we'd have to cross right there
there for now. We'll be back again tomorrow. See you then. So here we all are just driving down the highway. Mike's driving. Robert's in the back. Scott's there. Uh, <coughs> just kind of to our final destiny resting spot. Hopefully not, but you never know. <coughs> not with Mike at the helm there. This is new episode two. We'll be getting out. <laughs> I'm the helmsman. You're the helmsman. So uh, that's it. Mike's at the wheel. So wish us luck, everybody. Hopefully, uh, it's pouring rain out there. Oh, it's pouring rain right now. Rain. <laughs> I can't believe we're out here walking around in the rain, going down trying to find this treasure. See how that ship clay washed in there? <clears throat> Battery shirt. Before, is your numbers low for in service? I am using the Mine Lab GPX 6000 for this trip. there. Ham bone, ham bone, have no lie. Ham bone, ham bone. Something that didn't make it out of here alive. As we get towards evening, it's going to get worse. So far, all we've been doing is going in circles out here. We ain't found nothing yet. We've dug a few pieces of trash up, though, but Nothing of value yet, but we'll keep looking. We keep looking. They're saying we gotta cross this river. Are they insane? He's just no, it's not that bad deep, I guess. No, he's not up to his knees. Oh, 
crap, that's not too bad then. Crap, you know what that means? I can't believe we had to go across that. We yeah. made the river in we, the rain and lightning. We, <laughs> you guys are troopers. I gotta head over there towards that tree. I've got a flare reading over there with the camera the other night. That's where we're heading. Over there. Can't believe I had to walk through bushes, rushing thorns. Thorns were stabbing you and sticking you. Had to walk across the creek. Mud, you're sinking up to your knees, mud, but heck, we made it. Well, so we came out here, we dug all over the place, uh, found a lot of trash, nothing exciting, so, but hey, we, we chased another legend. It's mine. <laughs> Thanks for looking, guys. Hey, what's in store for tomorrow? What was that outlaw deal? <laughs> all right, I can't wait. That sounds, that sounds more exciting. <laughs> yes. Crossing the river and climbing because there he's found cliff. something over there though. That guy, he buried that somewhere around here. And with that flare being over there at that post, I always I thought that was a good sign. This here is what the flare looked like that we took with the Polaroid camera. Well, I guess it's my turn. Well, now it's time to head back across the creek. Well, and now we gotta climb back up this mountain, holy mackerels. That's steep. Made it back up, what a hike. We were way down over there. Wow, we were way over there. Way over there we were, wow. Way, way over there we were. Whew. We got back at the vehicle. We made it back safe and sound. We'll tell you what treasures we found later on tonight sitting around a campfire. But for now, it's time to uh, head back home, get out of these wet clothes. Well, made it back safe and sound. Got a little wet. I got to go in and change my clothes and, and uh, get out of these wet clothes. That, uh, we uh, found some junk. We didn't find the coin, so we're going to have to continue to investigate that. We're talking about maybe flying some drones and doing a few other things to try to relocate that or 
get some better coordinates. Well, we made it back safe and sound. We didn't find the treasures, did we? They're still there. It's still there. It's still there. You know, and with the equipment we have and taking pictures and seeing that flare by that post, you know, pretty exciting to go to this place and see what we can find. You know, I, 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 and now we're and now we're back. Are we back? Yeah, that was a hell of a trip, though, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Steep hill we had to go down. Oh man! All, all cobbly rock, hard to hard to maneuver around and steep and like walking on marbles. Yeah. And then crossing the river that and was... really muddy on the bank. Sink clear to your knee cat knees before get suck your shoe right off your foot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So it was a hell of a trip, but hey, thanks for the adventure. Really appreciate it, man. Yeah, yeah, well, we're going to go on another one tomorrow. Hey, cool. Can't you wait. Think, you, think this, <laughs> <laughs> you think this one was a test of your endurance? Well, tomorrow is going to be a little easier, and it has to do with a story about another, more outlaws that uh, stole gold coins over in Texas, and the Texas Rangers followed them clear to Utah. They were trying to get to... Well, we got to well, we gotta save that story for tomorrow. There was sanctuary, there was sanctuary <laughs> cities back then, <laughs> but they were for outlaws. And yeah. kind of like our sanctuary cities today, you know, that, that they that they've been stayed like Salt Lake and Denver. You know what happened there. But these guys, um, I found the graves. I found the three graves of the banditos. I found the shootout. That booty's up in there somewhere, too. But it's easier hiking. He's a pirate. <laughs> yeah, we'll go. Arr, we'll, we're going to go find it. All right. Well, hey, thanks for the adventure today, though, buddy. You're welcome, man. Tomorrow's Anytime. Day. And we, we got many more to go. And then I'm looking forward to going with you some places, too. In the so all we found was just junk, huh? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> you were you had a detector going. What detector was you using? I was using the Simplex uh, because I figured if there's a bag of gold, you think you'd find it. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, so, yeah, didn't find it, but we did find trash. We, what, found, we found a belt buckle. Of some sort, probably. Oh, up. yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah, a, a cinch strap buckle. Cinch, cinch strap buckle. Saddle. I so, found a chunk of metal off of something or other, I don't know. So there was a corral there, obviously, and there was a fence and horse horse tack stuff. But what there was not there was a bag of gold. But, hey, so that belt buckle was probably the coolest thing we found then. So, Mike, how you, come we didn't find anything? I don't know. I'm at a loss. We should there? have found something with the pictures we took the other night. There should have been stuff there, but and you and you and you have the good equipment. I mean, you got the great metal detector. You tell me why didn't we even find anything? We didn't you see. got the picture of the flare. You got the picture of the orbs. Yeah, I was excited. I took off work at noon today. <laughs> yeah, you did. I think you yeah. took off at work to try and kill us. I should have <laughs> stayed at work. At least I'd have made some money. In the rain, we wouldn't have had an adventure though. And you my, would, jo my job is an adventure. You know what? You would have never known. You would have wanted to go back there, and that would have been eating at you forever until so you finally got this out of your it's system. It's still eating at me, and it'll never be out of my system. <laughs> but, <laughs> but at least that part of it's out of your system, that we went over there and we looked what we tried to do. So you know now places to look where it's not. Yeah, I know where not to look now. <laughs> yeah, okay. So anyway, so that we found... A, so that's a bonus. I think we were in the I'll wrong see. spot, Mike. <laughs> but you know what? You'll have another explore to do one another time. So, well, you, guess so I guess we're going there tomorrow. No, we got something else to do tomorrow. The if we were at the wrong spot and you got the pictures, I don't. Uh, the flare looked to me like it, we both agreed it was over the post. Oh, I, I agree with that. It, you're right. It, it was over the post. So, how was we in the wrong spot? Well, I don't know, but it's about my bedtime. So, uh, anyways, <laughs> all, all we found was junk today. So, so I'm saying, here's where we were standing on that knob right there. Here's where we were standing. If the post is here, like this, and we're getting a direct line with that post, and that flare is right on the other side of the post, it he wouldn't have had to cross the river here because he could have left the home and come right over here and buried it. But in the story, he crossed the river. So... The post would have to, the, the, that flare would have to bend over in here. Okay, that makes sense. Instead of here, right next to it, on this side of the river, he'd have never had to cross the river to get to there. And I, we were thinking that he left the house, came over here, and crossed the river in here. And we, and I've been looking right here. But if he crossed the river, then that would put that flare right in there somewhere. 
Okay, that makes sense. But anyways, okay. I had a lot of fun. Sure hope you guys had a lot of fun coming on these adventures. Please like, share, and make sure you subscribe. Leave a comment. So, hey, until our paths cross again, you guys all take care. Have a fantastic week, everyone. Thanks for watching.